What's up guys, I'm Rustin from RustinMertech.com and this is another tutorial in Swift programming. Now in this class, I'm going to show you guys how to use the Boolean data types. So let's get started. Now this is the code I used in my last tutorial where I showed you how to use an if and else statement. Now Boolean works best with conditional statements, so that's why we're going to be using this code. Now what is a Boolean data type? Well, Boolean data types have two states. They can either be true or false. That that's, There are no other values. They can either be true or they can be false. And uh, this is a B, Boolean data type. We type in B-O-O-L. This is the data type here, B-O-O-L. We rarely use the data type. If you ever do need to use the data type, you, you use this keyword, B-O-O-L. But we can declare a Boolean value just by making a, any any variable true or false, and it automatically converts it to a Boolean data type. So we can use this variable right up here, which has an integer value of two, and we can just change it to a Boolean data type, which is either true or false, right? So it would convert any variable to a Boolean data type just by you typing in the value of true or false. So let's, let's give this variable red a value of true. So it's automatically going to convert it to a Boolean data type, right? So now let's change this uh, value of one to true, right? And let's hit play. And it printed out yes, right? Because it uh, uh, checked whether or not our variable red is equal to true. If our variable red is equal to true, then it prints out yes. If not, then it prints out no. We, we made our variable red equal true, which is a Boolean data type. And so we printed out yes. So let's uh, change this to a false. And now let's hit play. Build succeeded and it printed out no because our variable red was not true. So we jumped to else and it printed out no. So that's pretty much it for Boolean data types. There are two values a Boolean data type can have. It could either have true or false and they're best used with uh, comparison operators like if and else statements. So all right, that's pretty much it for this video. If you guys like this video, please give me a like. If you want more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel. I'm Rasim from RasmerTech.com and thanks for watching.